Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I wanted to go through uh, a quick review on this uh, new SSD that I've bought. Um, so I bought this from Amazon and uh, the reason why, the main reason I bought it was because I need something faster than a normal uh, hard drive, mechanical hard drive. So SSDs normally give the best value for speed and everything else, especially this one was the near enough the cheapest. <clears throat> This was uh, £69, um, so I'm, I'll, I'll put a link to if there's got this in the US as well on Amazon um, and the UK site where I got it for. So this one was one terabyte size, so it's quite a, a large enough size for me to back up all my files and documents. Um, and it seemed to have quite good reviews as well. And as I said, it's going to be about £10 cheaper than the rest of them. So I thought with the reviews and everything, why not give it a try? As you can see, it comes, as we said, it was a five-year warranty, so it's quite good. Um, and it is suitable for laptops and desktops, um, so when you're building your own computer as well. Um, so this is a solid-state drive, uh, SSD. So as you can see here, it's a 2.5-inch uh, in size, so it's like laptop size. Uh, it's a 7 millimeters thickness, and it's, of course, the uh, SATA 3 connection. It states they're the high speed and also um, low noise is because it's not a mechanical, so there's no uh, discs spinning in it as well, and there's no heads that are actually moving back and forward, so it's all just on the uh, on the memory chips that's inside it. So it comes in quite nice packaging. Everything is quite sturdy. So as I said, I got this from uh, Amazon uh, for my uh, backing up my uh, files. So as you can see here, Packaging is pretty straightforward, um, there's no other manual or anything else that's come with it, it's just this itself. And then you've got the plastic holder, so at least it's protected during um, shipping and everything else. So you've got the uh, core um, sticker on there, um, it's a plastic casing uh, but for the price as well you can't really moan. It's most importantly what's inside. As we said, it's a SATA 3 connections. So as you can see here, um, then it's got the two screw mounts as well here. And it's also got side screw mounts. So the quality of the build is not brilliant, but um, it is, as I said, the cheapest. And it's probably no worse than the uh, Crucial ones that I've got as well. Um, and the Samsung. So the build quality is doesn't seem any more flimsy than the others. So what I was going to do next is, uh, as this is a quite straightforward unboxing, is just do some speed tests um, and then see what actually comes up with that. So I'll show that next. So now we'll move on to the actual speed tests and some uh, information that we can get from the disc to make sure that, like they said, it is brand new and the information around it. So just for you to know that I'm actually connecting this to my Mac Mini and it's via a, a, a USB 3.2 um, to a SATA 3 adapter. So it should give us a, a good idea and perhaps not the full potential of the drive, uh, but give you an idea of the actual drive speeds um, we can get. So as you can see, this is the uh, actual page that uh, I got it from Amazon. It's currently £69.99. Um, as you can see, here, there's some uh, clearer pictures as we can see it's a five-year warranty so it's quite good well it's very good to be honest and it does say it's up to 560 uh, megabytes uh, per second uh, read uh, and then uh, write is up to 510 megabytes so that's up up to so that's what you, you can achieve now I think I do believe some people have um, achieved this so uh, this is the page as it says here, so this is the version I've got is the one terabyte and it's a solid state drive and as you can see here it's the, as we said, the read write speed is 560 and 510 and then you've got IOPS uh, read and write, so 74,000 and 76,000. I'll put some more information in the actual uh, description to, to some uh, links that will describe what IOPS means for you. Um, and then uh, high performance storage as well, as they said here, it's got the um, flash um, memory. It does actually tell you what kind of uh, uh, memory is actually in here. Uh, if we scroll down, we can see here, uh, 
uh, it actually came out in 2019 it's around 37 grams and as I said this is the one terabyte version and here's some of the product uh, dimensions as well so as you can see here so overall uh, the it's really quite good to be honest for value wise this was the cheapest at the time um, that I I had um, so uh, I thought well you know save £10 I saw the reviews as a as a saying here I know you don't always go buy these reviews because sometimes they can't uh, be that 100% reliable um, but we'll have a test here so if we just shrink this down so as you see I'm on my Mac so I've got the uh, disk speed test here by Blackmagic Design and then I've got Drive uh, DX app so as you can see here it just gives you some information it does give you an advanced health uh, check as well I quite like this so this is a, as it says it's supposed to be a brand new drive um, and this does check a lot of extra smart statuses as well as it says here because um, actually this is the second drive I did buy another make of SSD that I was going to review um, but um, it turns out when I plugged it into here that actually it's supposed to be brand new and as you can see here it actually says power on time zero hours and power cycle so that's how many times it's been switched on and that's been how long it's been used for and the other SSD that I bought from Amazon actually was supposed to be brand new and I could see that it had hours of work and also this came straight up and said the disk was actually failing as it, um, as you can see here in the description um, it's in a pre-fail state um, so that's a brand new drive so if I didn't plug it in and just plug, started using it um, um, I would have lost all my data um, so it's always a good idea when you do buy new hard drives just to see if you can get a free trial like this one um, or any other program that will give you information on the hard drive so at least you can just double check because that was supposed to be a brand new drive and it wasn't um, it turned out it wasn't actually from the factory but as you can see here this one's really good so we've got the power on cycle so how many times I've switched it on is three and uh, zero hours of use and then you can see here as well all the other tests it does uh, for the health indicators and they've all passed here and as I said here you can see that I'm using the uh, um, SATA 3 and that's the at 6 gigabits per second and that's what the current is uh, connection to the uh, Mac mini um, and it does give you further more information around here from smart um, so smart is uh, basically a standard uh, for hard drives and SSDs and uh, basically it gives these programs and any other like your operating system Windows or Mac it gives it an idea if the actual drive is going to fail or is failing uh, or if there's any issues with uh, bad sectors on the actual hard drive so it's always good to do that as we can say here so as I said uh, all of these are actually showing as uh, green as good and okay and as you can see you got the uh, actual all the smart information you want uh, how the connection is uh, connected to your computer the life uh, power cycles and the power on time as well to double check all the information um, so yeah so basically what smart is is, is built into uh, all modern hard drives and SSDs um, so it gives the operating system so your Mac or uh, Windows or Linux or if you've got a NAS it gives them an actual idea of an indicator if your drive is going to fail or it's got a, a problem with it with bad sectors and it can't write to certain parts of the hard drive um, or the memory so it just gives the uh, actual gives you a bit of a warning at least before the drive act totally fails so it hopefully gives you time to take your information and copy it across to a safe drive so as I said before it is worthwhile checking I know when you think you're buying a brand new hard drive you think it is but it's just shown and the other one I bought actually um, wasn't and it actually was actually failing it said um, on the actual status now it was supposed to be a brand new SSD I got from Amazon as well so this one is all okay and um, so it shows all good and okay so here we can then go on to doing some speed tests so I've got here using the uh, as I said the speed test so I can then just select the one gig uh, stress test and then select my drive so I can select my drive here and then click start and again as I said this is go actually going through a USB adapter uh, USB 3.2 uh, to a SATA 3 so it should have enough bandwidth in theory uh, to cope with up to the top speeds as we saw on 
the sales page of 560 uh, megabits per second but as you can see here we're getting around 300 I think I was averaging uh, right and then you can see here read is around 360 so overall that's, I'm more than enough pleased with that and as you can see here on uh, how it can cope so you can easily edit still 4k straight from the drive um, if you go into 10 bit then perhaps um, it starts to struggle with the speed but for general use and um, backing up and also for games and everything else this is more than uh, fast enough uh, drive for all the information you want and for the price as I said was the cheapest and I've seen some other um, actual information where and I'll put it on screen as you can see that some people when they've actually actually plugged it into directly into their Windows machine um, they're getting this advertised speeds of 500 so again it all depends on perhaps I'm using a, this adapter so it's slowing it down but these are still good speeds um, that I'm receiving and uh, I'm quite happy with this and then for the price of one terabyte SSD for 69 pounds you can't really go wrong so I hope you've enjoyed this quick review and a quick speed test and then showing you how the uh, health check to make sure they're quite reliable um, if you do have any questions as usual leave them in the comments section and I'll try and answer them and get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching and have a great day